Yeah, the sun does come out tomorrow out here at the Cardinals practice facility at away. Thank you so much for logging on to 12news.com. Cameron Cox, Luke Lydon, um, Michael Bidwell just wrapping up his press conference right after firing Cliff Kingsbury and after the news of Steve Kahn, Michael Bidwell put it, uh, announced his resignation, resigned from the organization, left the organization uh, earlier in the day. They said step down, you know, to focus on his uh, health issues right. that he's been away from the team for. But Michael Bidwell kind of wording it just a tad different in a way, too, as well. Um, but that's the big news here today. Cardinals now searching for a new head coach, a new GM, and uh, Michael seemed rather optimistic I, I, rather optimistic and in his own way taking accountability yeah it, it was interesting i was a little surprised at the optimism but I, what struck me was talking about needs a change of culture sure um, i think we all understood that and how we talked about he doesn't think the team is as broken as the fans or viewers might sure. think i thought that was interesting he kept pointing a lot to how they were 12 and two last yes. year before the collapse and how everything was rolling last year. And then all of a sudden the wheels have fallen off here the last you know, year and a half since yeah. then. And it seems he's okay. I think you asked the question about the financial piece sure. in terms of the contracts with Cliff Kingsbury and Steve Kime. And he said he, he's willing to eat that money and um, you know, whatever it takes to find the right GM, right coach, and mentioned multiple times casting that net far and wide to find the right fit mentioned internal candidates external we'll see what happens we know that process takes a while but he seems he's looking willing to look any and everywhere for the right right fit yeah luke you did mention i just want to make sure we hit on this the number one reasons that he said that there needed to be a change because it was interesting michael started the the press conference by really expressing his gratitude to yeah. Cliff Kingsbury in a way, saying he's, he's worked harder than many coaches never he's been around. Yeah, never exactly. seen that before. He called it one of the hardest days in his football life. Yeah. Uh, Steve Kahn's been with this organization, been a friend of Michael for a very long time. I'm sure that's very hard to get rid of your friend like that. And when you have so much admiration, um, when you have so much respect for the head coach and Cliff Kingsbury, um, you know, I'm sure this was a difficult day for Michael. But he said the number one reasons for change, getting the most out of players yeah. specifically. He did say he talked to a lot of guys in the locker room, talked to leaders on the team. So it's interesting that his takeaway was getting the most out of players and then the culture in the locker room, which I think all of us who've been around this team for a while it just seemed like the culture wasn't as great. And a lack of accountability. Lack of accountability, great. lack of culture. Just that's what's missing at the root of this team. They got good players. They're going to have good, you know, yeah. big players. Next year, they're going to have like 30 free agents, so they're going to have to rebuild in a way, retool in a way. The roster's going to look different. But you just got the sense they needed a vibe change, they needed a culture change, and that's why they came to decisions today. And he said he's going to do this search differently than what they've done in the past. He didn't really expand on that. He didn't expand on that. Uh, but besides, like, like the basic right. ownership speak right. in a way so yeah it's just going to be interesting do you take that courageous step in a sense and look outside the organization or do you play it safe perhaps go with advanced joseph to fill the shoes uh, left behind by cliff kingsbury it's going to be very interesting if you had yeah. to guess this is an assumption of course sure. we're just guessing here <laughs> do you think they stay with in, in the building uh, with vj or do you it, think it's the the vj things outside? make sense because of the contracts now we you yeah, know we just talked about where michael where you know he said he's willing to spend some money need some contracts and, and joke that i don't have to worry about it thank yeah, goodness you know, thank you know goodness. I, I don't have to write all those checks um that's why the vj thing makes sense because he was given a contract extension last year and so he's already under contract in a way for next year unless they fire him too um but if michael is serious about building a winning team he will look outside yeah. you just while quentin harris and Adrian Wilson are good candidates and have earned it and have earned their right to, to, to be in position to, to apply for a GM job and to be in that spot. I just think this team, which not typically does this in the past, we haven't seen it in a long time since like the Denny Green era where they go outside the organization to make big time hires. They need a new voice. They need new ways of looking at things, especially when it comes to the draft. So I hope yeah. Michael takes that to heart and really does consider some outside well, candidates. Well, you know, it's interesting. In the history of this franchise, they haven't had a head coach last more than yeah. six seasons. And so it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. Yeah. Something's not working, and I think this could be an amazing opportunity for them to finally, hopefully, take that right step. Yeah. I think they should go outside the building to really sure. try to find that the best candidate they can. And, uh, you know, let's see if this is finally the step or the push they yeah. need to finally realize, okay, what we're doing is not working. Let's maybe hire Sean Payton or a bigger name. Sean Payton's going to be very expensive and going to cost in the draft no, probably right? it's, it's with some picks. It's the pros and cons of yep. every, whichever avenue you, you look at. You know? the, the, the one thing we'll just end with this is that 
it, it seemed like Michael was admitting mistakes. Yeah. And it, I mean, to be so connected to a GM and coach and then to realize that something needed to change. I still respect these guys. They worked hard, but something needed to change. And I made the change. That is an owner taking accountability in, in their own ownership way that I made a mistake. I sensed what the fans felt. I sensed what the team was not performing and needed to make a change. And that's what Michael did today. Great first step. Now let's see what steps two, three, yeah. and four look like to really see if he can take advantage of those mistakes and learn from those yeah. and make it into a positive positive shift uh, in the years ahead. Yeah. Fingers crossed. All right. Well, that'll do it for us. We'll have much more on 12 News at 4, 5, 6, and of course tonight on 12 News at 10. I think we both need more makeup. The sun's coming out. We're tired. Yeah. Thanks for logging on to 12news.com.